Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Um, I just want to show you on this video that uh, I am using everything set to Ultra because today is the last day for me to play this open beta on PC. So I just want to let you know everything set to Ultra, uh, including vertical sync, texture quality. Uh, look, all of these elements, they take so much horsepower on your graphics card to render all of this and uh, I don't think some people realize what kind of horsepower it takes to render all of this in native 4k all right so now that you guys know that everything's set to ultra and that the uh, the uh, full screen resolution is 3840 by 2160 uh, that way you guys have some uh, understanding just what a demanding task it is even for GeForce GTX 1080 and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and six cores i7 8th generation processor these are all very expensive components to put into a PC for you to run something like this in native 4k with ultra settings at 40 frames per second. Now I'm sure with the RTX, with the RTX uh, 2080 or 2080 Ti, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to run this game at like uh, 60 frames per second, ultra settings, native 4K. With the RTX, no problem. With the RTX on, uh, ray tracing on, no issues. All right, let's uh, let's go back and let's play a little bit of this game. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, competing here. I'm really gonna on this video. I'm gonna focus more on the visuals, and I'll talk about that. So let me go back and uh, let me uh, let me do my favorite one, which is the uh, Grand Operation. Here we go. Uh, we're going to start this pretty soon. Because uh, I felt that in my previous video I was more focused on um, uh, competing in the game than I was focused on the graphics. So here I just want to kind of examine the graphics because this is going to be recorded in uh, native 4k as you'll know this will be a huge file okay so uh, I have adjusted my brightness so that way uh, the white bright levels are not overblown I have re reduced that a little bit the reason I had to reduce my brightness in this game because uh, you can't see HDR uh, when you're recording a raw file like this a raw I mean raw bitrate like this and you strip away the HDR the problem is uh, the white bright levels have become a little bit out of place that's because we're not recording that uh, peak brightness and that color gamut Rec 709 BT 2020 so uh, I had to reduce the the white bright levels a little bit but you're still gonna get native 4k ultra settings as you have seen me showing it to you in the beginning this this is ridiculous uh, what I'm doing here running this in native 4k with everything set to ultra everything maximized including DirectX 12 uh, that's pretty insane so uh, keep that in mind here I am with a 1080 uh, 8th generation i7 processor and you can even hear the fan running and I'm running this at native 4K at 40 frames per second. Now it looks eye candy. Uh, it is eye candy. Don't get me wrong. But you guys have to remember, the majority of people are not going to be playing uh, in native 4K with everything set on uh, with 40 frames per second. A majority, like I said, will be playing this in QHD. All right, and that's what they're going to be playing it on, QHD. Hold on a second. 
Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, here we go. So I'm going to focus really on graphics here. Uh, the one thing you will appreciate, uh, if you set everything to ultra, you're going to appreciate just the amount of detail, sharp detail you're going to get. Also depends on the monitor. You know, if you're using a really good monitor, uh, this will look awesome. Uh, I'm using a BenQ 32-inch uh, vertical alignment monitor, and uh, it just looks stunning. But remember, uh, 40 frames per second, you know, uh, that's the sacrifice you're going to have to pay for uh, enjoying a game like this in such high fidelity detail. Obviously, if I was to reduce this to a QHD high settings, uh, I would be probably be getting like uh, uh, maybe even more. At QHD high settings, I'll probably be getting like 78 to maybe 80 uh, frames per second, maybe 90 frames per second, obviously. If I select stuff to medium to high, medium to high, including tessellation, probably would be getting somewhere around 90 96 frames per second and I think uh, that's what you want to do yeah. but I really want to focus here just on uh, the detail that you that you're gonna be getting in this game uh, you know because a lot of you're uh, interested in uh, how well can this game look Now, if you really love this game, I here's the deal. If you really love this game, I would say that RTX. It, it, look, let me put it to you this way: I understand RTX uh, 2080, 2070. They're expensive, but guys it's a new technology whenever you uh, purchase a new technology you're gonna pay a higher price but guess what you're gonna be able to play this in a much better eye candy at 60 frames per second okay and it's gonna look much better like look at the textures right here on this uh, wooden floor right here just look how amazing that looks and you're going to be able to play this at the 60 frames per second or maybe even 90 frames per second. Come on, dude, help him out. There you go. Here, I'm just going to go up here a little bit. Oh, I've... Oh, great. I killed myself. <laughs> um... You let me squat up. Here we go. Let's run a little bit here. Uh, I mean, it really looks awesome. It looks great. I'm sure it will show up on the screen. Uh, to me personally, uh, the HDR here adds to uh, to an unbelievable detail. Another thing I want to say, people who say that there's no such thing as ray tracing, that's ludicrous. Uh, I heard some people say that, that, oh, there's no such thing as ray tracing. Listen, guys, ray tracing has been, has been around for, as far as I can remember, uh, since maybe 2000 and... Uh, seven two thousand and eight ray tracing it's like a volumetric light it's a reflection uh what's basically what it's doing it it's tracing that right uh that light accurately so when you see a muzzle let me show you for example right here uh, when you for example there you go when you see a muzzle shot, like right here, and you see the reflection on the gun on the muzzle shot, that's ray tracing. But the difference with RTX is it's a more advanced 
ray tracing. It's the most realistic ray tracing that you're going to get. Meaning that the light and the reflection is going to represent itself like in real life accurately. And that's what you're going to be getting with the RTX. Meaning that the game will look more photorealistic. When you play Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's going to look more realistic. Okay? The light, the reflection will look more realistic. And yes, it's going to add to the detail. But let's talk about something else uh, that I think it's also re really important to, to remember. Is higher textures and the eye candy graphics, are they really that important to, uh, to Battlefield Five? Honestly, to me, not really because... In Battlefield 5, you're really not going to have time to be sightseeing and looking at the graphics. You're going to be too busy. Like, you won't be able to do this. You'll be too busy trying to take over the opposition's uh, camp. You'll be too busy trying to uh, defeat the enemy, the other team. So, you're going to be too busy focusing on that. You, you're not going to be having the time to go sightseeing and look at oh wow look how beautiful this looks and look how beautiful that look you're not going to have time to do that all right so i just feel that people they get I, I think on games like battlefield and call of duty the graphics really don't play that much of a role honestly because uh you're too busy uh, focusing, like I just said, on winning the game. Uh, you, you only care about performance. and You want stuff to be fast and fluid. So you're not going to have time, like this guy, he's not going to have time to look around and, and go sightseeing. Oh, look at this. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at the, uh, the tessellation here, the draw distance. Look at the, uh, what you call it, uh, vegetation and all this other stuff. He's not going to have time to do that. And I mean, because he's going to be too busy uh, playing this game. So I personally don't think that it really matters that much in, in first-person shooter games, in my opinion. It matters in games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Because Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's an adventure action game. There's a lot of sneaking going around, uh, going through the jungle, climbing and whatnot. So there you will appreciate the graphics. And it's also important, like games like The Witcher, uh, those types of games. Uh, that's what I, I mean by that. That's where I think it's important, you know. Uh, but for first-person shooter games, the, uh, the performance is the key. Now, with the RTX, you are going to get that 60 frames per second, or maybe 90 frames per second. But I'm just trying to be honest. I think you'll get 60 FPS with the ultra settings uh, and the ray tracing on native 4K with HDR. And I think you're going to get the best uh, possible eye candy first person shooter experience. But even with the RTX, you got to ask yourself, well, I'm going to be running around too quick, too fast. I won't have time to look around all the all this clarity. I won't have time to go sightseeing and examine everything because it's a competitive game. Alright, so you're really not going to have time to be looking around and stuff. So, to me, uh, I always felt like that's something that uh, a lot of people like here we go. Can I make that shot? Oh, fuck. Sorry about the language. To me, I always felt like that's something that a lot of people don't take in consideration. I personally think that... Uh, that you're going to uh, be playing this game in uh, QHD, medium to high settings at uh, like some ridiculous 90 frames per second or, or even 110 frames per second 
on a 144 hertz monitor, you're going to be playing this like ridiculously fast. Because remember, this is all about performance. When you are uh, stuck at 40 frames per second, you know, it's hard for you. To, there's some input lag, you know, and then your mouse is going to have some issues with uh, trying to align that shot and that performance. So I'm just doing this video just to show you uh, how much of eye candy this game is. But then again, is it, is it really important? I want to ask a question to everybody here. Uh, is eye candy that important on the first person shooter game? I don't think it is. I think the eye candy doesn't play that much of a huge role on a, on a first person shooter game. It's nice. Fuck, dude. I'm such a bad sniper here. Nice. To me, I don't think it's that important. Like I said, because you're going to be focused more on uh, performance than you are going to be focused on the eye candy. On the games like Rise of the... Uh, not Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, there's going to be plenty of eye candy for you to look at because it's a type of a game that has a lot of eye candy in the environment where you're sneaking around, climbing and doing all sorts of different stuff on that type of a uh, game you're gonna want that eye candy you know on the games like uh, cyberpunk 277 first person uh, view you're gonna want that eye candy you know and, and the type of graphics but on on the games like call of duty black ops uh, even battlefield one here Sure, there will be some instances in the campaign uh, where you might have that moment of, ooh, ah, look at that. But at the end of the day, remember, man, it's, uh, it's, it's all about performance uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to this game. And here we are, we are in the uh, green light, green light. We're going to jump out of the plane. Here we go. This reminds me of Band of Brothers. I like this, you know. Now, EA did have a uh, game uh, called the uh, Medal of Honor Airborne that had something like this, you know. But look how beautiful this looks. Looks really nice. Yes, it looks nice, but I remember... Once you start jumping down, you're going to want that import, uh, that performance. Now, yes, you can play. You can play with uh, 40 frames per second. All right? You can play with 40 frames per second. I'm not saying you can't play with 40 frames per second. But majority who want to play Battlefield 5 will not settle for a 40 frames per second. They will settle for... A minimum 60 frames per second minimum 60 frames per second okay especially the PC gamers they don't want to hear it they want 60 frames per second minimum and then up that's what they're looking for and majority will be playing this on 144 Hertz monitor like a really good uh, mouse and the keyboard uh, they're gonna set the settings to medium and high medium and high at QHD at some ridiculous like uh, 120 frames per second or some, 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 something like that. Something ridiculously uh, super fast. And that's what they're going to want to do. So, I don't know if there's anything else I can say. I wanted to do this uh, video again just to kind of show you a little bit more clarity so you guys can see it and just how sharp it is. Like I said, I'm not competing here. I just want you to see how this game looks. 
uh, again in native 4k but I wanted to show it to you a little bit a little bit better detail you know uh, I felt like my previous video uh, I didn't uh, I had too much of that uh, white bright levels up and I felt like on this one I should be able to give you guys a better better deal here oh shit he got me Here, let me deploy one more time. Let me try a different... Uh, oh, here we go. Let's jump out. There we go. And I wish that you guys could see the HDR here, but uh, you can't. You know, you got to remember when you add HDR, this looks even more ridiculous. Uh, the amount of detail, like look at the shadows. Like, oh, I'm getting killed here, obviously. This is a multiplayer. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna skip this okay. right now. I'm gonna skip it. There we go. So you should only play native 4K ultra settings if you got a really like a beefy PC. If you got like a I don't know a dual 1080 Ti or something, and you got like 64 gigs of RAM, and you got like the i9 processor or something, something ridiculous. Or if you have RTX 1080 Ti, I mean, uh, RTX 2080, I'm sorry, RTX 2080 Ti, then yeah, you're going to be running this at 60 frames per second, native 4K with ray tracing. Or maybe 80 frames per second, I'm just guessing because I don't know, uh, you know, the, the card's going to be released a week from now and uh, there hasn't been any tests, there, there's still an embargo on it nobody can be doing any tests unless they sign the NDA agreement so uh, nobody knows yet what kind of uh, performance are we gonna be getting you know with the uh, with the RTX and whatnot uh, what this is a 2070 and then 2080 and 2080 Ti but I think you'll be getting uh, easily 60 frames per second on that game on that graphics card with the uh, native 4k ultra settings I think you might even hit 70 frames per second and guys that's pretty darn good if you can hit 70 frames per second uh, or even 80 frames per second on that uh, RTX with the ray tracing that's gonna be bananas man that's gonna be truly bananas to have that kind of clarity and that kind of detail it's really gonna be amazing but the only reason I'm doing this video again it's because Today's the last day uh, for the Battlefield Open Beta. It ends tomorrow, September 11th. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit more uh, before the uh, the video, uh, the Open Beta ends. Before the Open Beta ends, I wanted to show you this and uh, I want you guys to see it. Oh uh, shit, it's really hard to see, man. I like how you can see the uh, aurora in the sky. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're both dead. Like I said, it looks great. But is the eye candy that important? Uh, that's that's something I want you guys to get to get from this video. Is the eye candy that important on uh, on a battlefield? I personally don't think it's that important. I think uh, what's important is the performance. And I think that's what the majority is going to be looking at. It's going to be looking at performance. That's going to be one thing that everyone will be looking for is the performance. And that's what I'm going to be looking for is the performance.
All right, so we have uh, won this objective. And I hope you guys will appreciate this video, just so you can see how it looks. I showed you in the beginning that I'm running everything at ultra settings. So uh, hopefully you guys appreciate this video. I'm really trying to bring you as much as of as I can in native 4K. Uh, like, and also, I think it should be understandable that this is a gigantic file, guys. This will take a while. It will take a while for this uh, for this to be processed. You know. But it looks great. I mean, it looks awesome as it should be, you know. Uh, and I'm very happy the way the game looks. Some people are still complaining about this game, you know. Guys, I don't really keep up with the uh, the whole rumors thing. Someone said this, someone said that. I'm not interested in rumors, you know. A lot of people want to bring controversy to my channel. And I'm like, listen, man, there's always going to be somebody out there creating controversy. There's always going to be somebody out there saying something. But it doesn't mean uh, that's what this game is about. You know, you got people out there complaining about women being inside uh, the game. I was like, dude, you know, if that bothers you so much, then don't buy the game. Then you got people something about uh, keyboard and uh, the white man. I, what the heck is going on? Like, seriously... Are there people out there that are just, they have no life. All they do all day long is just sit on their sorry ass and they think about the controversy. I think there's people out there like that. That's all they do, 24-7. They sit on their sorry ass and they just think about the controversy. It's like, dude, if you're not going to be playing a game because someone said something on Reddit or someone said something that's controversial, then you're stupid. For that i don't give a damn what anybody says i don't care what somebody says this somebody says that hey if i like the game and it's fun that's all that matters i don't give a rat's ass what anybody says i like spider-man i don't give a rat's ass if somebody didn't like it i like it that's all that matters okay that's that's what it's all about at the end of the day man you know and i mean that's what you should be uh, focused on. You should be focused on, hey, do I like this game? I don't give a rat's ass what this guy says on YouTube. Or what that guy says on YouTube. He's not my father. He's not my parents. He's not my God. Fuck him. If I like the game, that's all that fucking matters. Sorry for the language. But you guys are so focused on what somebody else says. I don't even give a shit what developers have said about this game. As long as I like the game. That's all that matters. I don't give a damn what they said. Let them run their mouth and their political views or their movement views. I don't give a damn. That's their problem. What matters is me. Hey, I'm enjoying this game. I don't give a rat's ass what they said. I paid the money for it. I'm going to play it. I don't care. All right? If you're going to be a drama queen that's always going to be focused on some controversial aspect of it, then you're never going to play any game. If I listen to every critic out there that reviews the video games, I wouldn't play any game. If I listen to every critic that reviews the movies out there, I wouldn't have seen a single movie. If I have listened to some opinions asshole out there, sorry for the language, but the only way I can come across a point is if I use a cussing language so that you guys understand how I feel about that stuff. And that's why I don't like the controversy. I don't give a shit about controversy. I don't care about that stuff, man. I care about, hey, am I having fun time here? Yes, I'm having a great time playing this game. I don't give a rat's ass that there's women on the poster, that they have women in the game. I don't care. I don't care if somebody says, uh, call somebody a white man or this or that. I don't give a rat's ass. Even I don't know what that means, white man keyboard, I didn't even look at it. 
somebody told me, oh, did you hear about the white man and the keyboard? I was like, I don't give a rat's ass. Call me whatever. I don't give a rat's ass what you call me. I'm still going to enjoy this freaking game. I don't care, man, what people call me. They're just words. As long as you don't rob me or you do something to me personally, I could give a rat's ass what you say. They're just empty words. They don't mean shit to me. So I don't understand why there's people out there that they're just focused on controversy. I don't get that. I, don't, I really don't understand this generation. Like, if that's all you are focused on, all you are focused is controversy, dude, I, I feel sorry for you. I really do. That's all you focused on? That's it? If you look for controversy, you'll find it. If you look for drama, you'll find it. If you're looking to feel depressed, you'll find it. Okay, it's there. But why? My question to you is why? Why do you focus on that crap? Why do you feed off of that crap? Because obviously these people that make those videos, they're doing it just to make views. They're doing it for clickbait reasons, okay? That's why they're doing it. They're clickbaiters. They make those videos to attract views. That's all they care about. They don't care about the games. They don't care about you. They don't care about anything. The only thing they care about is their money pockets, their wallets, how much money they're going to put by this video, by whatever video, the clickbait video they make, how much money they're going to make so they can enjoy themselves in their selfish, uh, pathetic lives. But you are buying into that controversy. You know, so I just, I just don't understand, like, why people care about that. You don't like Battlefield? Don't buy it. You know, developers was right. If you don't like it, don't freaking buy it. I would have told you the same thing. Don't buy it. If you're going to bitch and moan about it, don't buy it. No one, you know, I don't care. Don't buy it. But don't bitch and moan about it 24-7. There's women in the game. Oh, oh my God. There's women in the game. Yes, there are, there are men and women, okay? Is there a problem to you? If that's a problem for you, don't buy the freaking game. End of story. Play Black Ops 4. But don't bitch and moan about it on the Reddit. Don't bitch and moan about it on the clickbait videos. I'm sick and tired of those losers. It's all they freaking do is make these clickbait videos. And then the same, they're the same pathetic losers. They're going to be playing this game. They're going to be online. All right. But the masses are so brainwashed by controversy and drama. And they buy into that. Uh, you guys buy into that so easily. And that's sad. Me, I don't buy into it because I don't give a damn. You know, I don't focus on that shit. I focus on this. I focus on enjoying, having fun, enjoying the life. Why? Because I don't know how much time I have left. I don't know. I don't have the crystal ball. I don't know where my future is and where I'm going to be tomorrow or the next week or the next month. You don't know either. But why the hell should I waste my time focusing on some, uh, you know, controversy bullshit? Why should I focus myself on controversy? It's kind of hard to hit uh, the enemy at 40 frames per second like this. You know, this is the kind of price you're going to have to pay when you are, uh, you know, playing this game in such a high fidelity of, of graphics. But then again, okay, like I said earlier, the reason I'm doing this video, just so you guys can see how the game looks with all the bells and whistles. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, and I, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I think I've done more than enough videos on Battlefield 5. I've covered, I covered the open beta on the consoles, on the PC. I think I gave you guys 
more than enough for you to uh, to see what Battlefield 5 is. I think it's great. It's going to play the best on the PC, obviously. It's going to look the best on the PC. But remember, when it comes to PC, uh, it's going to cost you. You know, it's going to be expensive. How important is that eye candy to you? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. If that eye candy is not that important, I think you'll be okay with the Xbox One X version. Okay, you'll be fine with the Xbox One X version, all right? It's still going to look great. But it's not going to look as super great as it is uh, on the PC, okay? So anyway, I'm going to end this video. Like I said, this is a huge file, guys. This is a gigantic file. So I'm going to have to end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know you guys are enjoying these videos. And thank you for liking that Tomb Raider uh, custom trailer that I did with the uh, hybrid uh, music. Hybrid, it's a band. Uh, they do techno. They also do uh, musical uh, scores for the movies. Uh, check them out. Uh, that was a remix from the uh, Armchair, another band that does uh, remixes and whatnot. And that song, name of that song was called Formula of Fear. Uh, I think I left the credentials and everything down below. You guys can find that track. It's a pretty cool track, very emotional. And I thought it, it, it kind of blend in nicely with the uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, there you have it. This is uh, ultra settings, 40 frames per second on 1080 and uh, 32 gigs and i7 processor, 8th generation. Battlefield 5, open beta. This is it. This is the, the last day of open beta and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Remember, you guys can always check those videos later on. Uh, once the beta is finished, you can check those videos and you can look and look at them and compare them and look at the differences and you can decide for yourself whether uh, is eye candy important, is it not important, that's a debate for you. For me, the eye candy is not that important on the, uh, the PC, I mean on, uh, on this game. Because this is a first person shooter game, first person shooter games, you're too focused on uh, the performance and the speed and accuracy. You're not going to have time to be looking at, at the uh, sightseeing and looking at all of this detail, all right? So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later.